Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Linky, along with my broadcast partner, former Herman Award winner, Farouk Qureshi and Farouk. We're here in Tampa, University of South Florida, Virginia Tech, two interesting teams. They really are. They they're both uh, have something to prove tonight. USF obviously starting the season with a, a, for them, a very bad loss to Florida Gulf Coast University and a tie at St. Louis. So they need a win uh, tonight. They, they obviously beat uh, Stony Brook in the last game, but really have something to prove tonight. And Virginia Tech coming off two uh, tough defeats and obviously wanting to get on the in the winning column tonight. And so it promises to be a good matchup between two, I think, very good teams. All right, well said, Farouk. Let's take a look now at the NSCAA, HendrickCars.com, top 25, and boy, Akron looks awful good. Well, I think that they've set the standard right out of the box uh, this season with two, uh, two wins in one weekend against UNC and um, Wake Forest. And of course, that came on the heels of a their very first defeat in a long time. Uh, against USF on this very field. So it was a real sh uh, test of character for them, and they came out and, and set a very, very high standard. And real quickly, I know you like Virginia at two and UNC at four. I, I do. I, uh, Virginia obviously has, um, has a tremendous tradition of success in, in the college game, and uh, they're the 09 champs, so um, George Gellnerbach has done his usual outstanding job, and I think they're going to be, uh, be a strong team all through the season. UNC, the, the defeat to Akron, I don't think should be a, a blemish for, for UNC. You know, there's so much parity in the college game, and UNC are going to be there. They've been in the last two Final Fours. They're, they're a team that are going to be consistent through the season. When we flip the chart, ironically, it's another ACC school. But first, it's the Ohio State Buckeyes you want to talk about. It is. Um, I think um, I think the Buckeyes, again, John Bloom, uh, in the interest of full disclosure, is a former college opponent of mine, but also a, a, a teammate in the pros. I've got a lot of respect for John. I think he's done an outstanding job in developing the program at Ohio State. And he's got some, some good young players, uh, not the least being Conrad Wazika, you know, Robert Wazika's son, the Columbus Crew coach. Um, and Jay Vidovich at Wake Forest, number 12. Well, what can you say about Jay Vidovich? He, he, he has the program that I think um, everybody else try, has tried to emulate over the, the most recent years. And Jay has got a very, very young team this year. And I don't think their, their start to the season is indicative of how they will finish. And finally, in the final five, you like St. John's. I do. And the reason I like St. John's is because Dave Mazur perennially does an outstanding job of organizing his team. He has some outstanding players. I particularly like Conrad Lardy, uh, Conor Lardy, sorry, uh, the fullback who came through the Red Bulls uh, Academy. And I like this uh, Brazilian uh, player he has, who's his playmaker, Ted Yu, who is just one of the most technical players I've seen in the college game. That is your NSCAA HendrickCars.com Top 25, brought to you by HendrickCars.com. 80 franchises, 5,000 cars, over 100,000 photos, one website. HendrickCars.com, the fastest way to buy a used vehicle. That walks us right up to the men's player of the week. No surprise with the Akron Zips, Darlington Nagby. He got two big victories over two ACC schools, Farouk. He certainly did. Uh, Nagby had a goal in each game against UNC and Wake Forest. He also assisted on the game-winning winning goal. So um, I think this is another one of many, many outstanding players that Akron have and is probably going to be the first in a long line of Akron players that will receive uh, Player of the Week honors this season. And the NSCAA women's player of the week, Katie Frierson from Auburn. Big victory over Florida State. Congratulations. They are your NSCAA players of the week. And your final score from Tampa was the USF Bulls 2 and the Virginia Tech Hokies 0 and Peru Qureshi. USF very creative in the first half. Finally paid off in the second half, but Virginia Tech young team held in there. Well, they did an extremely good job considering their lack of experience and this team is only going to get better as they get more experience. A lot of good things tonight in spite of the loss for Virginia Tech. Let's take a look here at the highlights. Walk us through, Farouk. Right, here's the uh, free, free kick and, and uh, Renfro bubbles it but recovers it to save. Here's a shot by Sinclair which Renfro saves with his feet and your nice cross in. Renfro again gets his hands to it but USF unable to convert. In the second half, 
left, we have uh, Wakai, shot on goal, but nothing to really test Adinella. Nice free kick from Fiorello, top 90. Adinella saves nicely, and here's the penalty kick from um, well, Bandi, uh, commits the foul, Chin puts the penalty kick away nicely, Renfro has no chance on that. one nothing USF, second half, and Hawk. Nice free kick, Renfro against the post, Wickstead right on, on the spot to put the ball in the back of the net, 2-0 USF. The NSCA convention is the world's largest annual gathering of soccer coaches. Don't miss the 2011 convention in Baltimore, Maryland in January.